Good day, my name is Job Zenshin and uh, my matrix number is A165341 and another two of my group members are Lim Jin Liang A164965 and also Chen Jian A165445. The title that was given to our groups is by Bustini and we have chosen the product which is Ryo. So as a now uh, the I've synthetic fibers started. Artificial fibers era began at the end of 1930s and only a limited quantity of artificial fiber is produced in commercial quantities. Ryan is a commercially available synthetic fiber at that time and there are three basic types of Ryan fibers which are used which are viscous Ryan, crude ammonium iron and also saponified cellulose acid. It is also one of the least expensive uh, synthetic fiber that is used to current day. For the fiber spinning methods, there are actually three uh, spinning methods, which are wet spinning, dry spinning, and also melt spinning. But in this uh, report, we will be focusing on wet spinning, because Ryan is mainly made from wet spinning. Although Ryan's are cheap, there are a few limitations or so problems that which is uh, involved in processing of Ryan's, and also the product of Ryan. It is about 1 over 5 in difference and also a half difference in crystallinity or in cotton. This makes the regular rayon seem weaker and also more extensible, although about twice as absorbent. It has a low crystallinity and also a much weaker fibers when compared to cotton. It is only applicable to a few limited polymers, and polymers are only consist of materials that do not decompose at their melting point. Temperature control is very crucial in producing rayon. It also is very high in energy consumption. It requires a very high amount of processing of water, which will be endangering our planet Earth. A few features of Ryan, as mentioned just now, it is very readily absorbent. It absorbs more moisture than cotton. It is also maintained in a stable form. The most common types of uh, Ryan products are viscous Ryan, Modal Ryan, and also Lyosin. It has a tensile, different tensile strength in both dry and wet state. In the dry state is about 1.5 to 2.4 grams per depth, and then in the wet state, wet state it is about 1.9 to 3 grams of depth. It has a, an elasticity of 2 to 3 percent, uh, about 15 to 30 percent of elongation and break. The breaking point under heat is that it loses in strength at 150 Celsius, and also as the tenacity, it is about 2.4 to 3.2 grams per depth. In producing rayons. First is that for after spinning, uh, the consideration is that if the polymer will one react after spinning or two, as no changes can be done. And here's a table of how the rayons products are made, considering of how the polymers react, uh, the solubility inside the inside the solution, and also the intermediate reaction, and also the solubility of the fiber. These few different products uh, and also processes. Uh, provides a few different types of final product which will be used commercially. Uh, how they react during the process is considered. Practicalities and physicals of the practices are the main considerations for limits of polymer concentration question. Another limitation is that with higher concentration is the design pressures. Polymer weights usually weigh in between 100,000 to 120,000 in average molecular weight and solution in viscosities are around 500 poises. And as for the air gap distance, usually the air gap is maintained at 5mm to 15mm. In some cases, it will be increased to 2 to 100mm in consideration of avoiding contact between edges and trap lines of the dog with each other. The preferable case is that it is more than 2 mm as vibration from the spinner device. That is all from me, thank you very much. Good day, I'm Cheng Jian. I will talk about the wet spinning process in this presentation. So this diagram has shown the process flow of the wet spinning process to produce the viscous uh, filament. So first of all, preparing of the pumps. The raw material will be cut into slides and treated in calcium bisulfate 
and cooled with steam under the pressure to obtain the cellulose pumps. The raw material could be bamboo, tree, grasses, and so on. After that, the cellulose pump will be immersed in the sodium hydroxide solutions to form alkali cellulose. After that, the excess sodium hydroxide solution will be pressed out from the cellulose pumps. In shredding process, the alkali cellulose pump will be mechanically shredded to form the pumps to increase the total surface area for the edging process. In the edging process, the degree of polymerization will be reduced from 1000 to 300. The molecular weight will be reduced as well to obtain the suitable level of the viscosity. In the sanitation process, the crumb will react with the carbon disulfate to produce sante crumbs, so the color will be changed from white color to orange color. After that, the cellulose sante will dissolve in an aqueous caustic solution to produce cellulose sante solutions. It also named as viscous solutions due to its high viscosity. After that, the solution will be stored for 2 to 5 days at 10 to 18 degrees Celsius. The viscosity will be dropped and then uh, rise again. After that, the undissolved material in the viscous solutions will be filtered to avoid the interruptions of spinning process. The air bubble in the solution will be removed as well in the degassing process. For the wet spinning process, the viscous solution will be excluded in the coagulating bath through the small hole of the spin turret to produce the viscous rayon filaments. The ingredient for the coagulating agent will be sulfuric acid, sodium sulfate, glucose, zinc sulfate, and water. The wet spinning process will be undergone at a temperature between 40 to 55 degrees Celsius. After the wet spinning process, the filament will be stretched while the cellulose chain are still relatively mobile in the drawing process. And then the filament will be washed with the water in the water tank and coiled into spindles or delivered to the cutter to produce the stepper fiber. The stepper fiber normally will be between 2.5 to 50 centimeters. This diagram is another figure to show the whole process of the manufacture of viscous filaments. So that's all from me. Thank you. I'm Julia. Now I'm going to talk about the troubleshooting regarding on the wet spinning process. First and foremost, I will talk about the defect of wet spinning process. The first defect is Deformation during spinning, which is caused by unsteady state of continuous deformation in fluid or breaking of elongation of fluid jet. When filament is drawn further from spinneret, stress will increase, and causing the elongational viscosity increase with strain rate. For solving this problem, relaxation time needs to be controlled with deformation rate to lower cohesive pressure. The second defect is static charges in filaments, which due to build up static charges tends to happen on filaments. For solving this problem, specific spinning finish will be required to dissipate the charges. Ionic substances are usually used as anti-static agents rather than non-ionic substances, but non-ionic substances are usually less moisture sensitive so they could operate better in a lower relative humidity of only 40%. Anti-static substances are more effective if concentration is increased but it will also increase hydrodynamic friction. So one is poor peeling performance which is caused by internal stress during drawing. In the fluid state before process into the fiber, the fluid is in a high enthalpy state and energetically stable. 
when they are converted into fiber, they transform into an oriented semi-crystalline and becomes very thermodynamically unstable, forming internal stress in the fiber system. So the solution for solving this problem is to use proper heat setting to lower or remove the internal stress as possible. I will talk about the impact of wet spinning process to the environment. This problem is because wet spinning process involves generating large amounts of processed water and influence from industry or facilities, especially the carbon disulfate which uses for, for coagulation bath. The solutions for solving this problem include to reuse carbon disulfate not only to reduce the impact to the environment, but also because carbon disulfate is a high cost material. Degassing is used to reduce the high levels of carbon disulfate and sulfuric acid for making recovery simple. Heat the precipitate crystals of sodium sulfate and transform it into anhydrous sodium sulfate. And also, use chemical and or biological treatment to treat influence. That's all from us. Thank you for watching our video.